Kristen Cosby is at the beach and the wind was kicking a minute ago. You've also been able to talk with a lifeguard, which, you know, right now, Kristen, we advise that no one get out in that water. That's right, Melanie, and lifeguards have told me the same thing. They don't want anyone in this water for the entire weekend. It's just too windy. The weather is really kicking up over here. Um, it has started drizzling a little, and it's windy. Um, the lifeguards are fully staffed, but they don't have their chairs out on the beach because those could be a hazard if they blew away. Now, joining me now is Max Irvani, and he's uh, with Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue. And Max, tell me a little bit about um, what's going on today. Yeah, so we're experiencing a little bit of the aftermath from the hurricane that just passed us. Uh, we have extremely dangerous ocean conditions today, and of course we have some dangerous weather that's still present. Um, the beach was closed uh, by the police yesterday evening, but you tell me it's, it is open today. That's correct. It is open. Uh, we strongly advise people not to get in the water. If they like to come to the beach, you know, look at the ocean conditions, that's perfectly fine. But, you know, like I said, we really suggest do not go in the water. And if you do to choose to go in the water, go with a friend, go with a buddy, never swim alone. And we, we really want to remind people that no matter how good of a surfer they are, no matter how good of a swimmer they are, is that these ocean conditions are extremely dangerous and they can really get anyone. And you told me you'll have your trucks out patrolling. I want to show uh, folks also there's a lifeguard up here on the top of the lifeguard station tower looking, but the chairs aren't set up. Uh, tell me a little bit about, Max, about what your officers and your um, lifeguards will be doing today. Yeah, so we'll be uh, monitoring the beach throughout the whole day until 7 p.m. tonight. And we have a lifeguard up on our station tower called PEG. And then we'll be doing uh, routine truck patrols up and down the 4.1 miles of Jacksonville Beach, as well as responding to any calls for service. Have you had any um, scary incidents uh, since yesterday evening? We have not, thankfully. We've had no calls for service. We uh, have had a lot of questions um, called in and asked, but no calls for service have been rendered. Yeah, that's uh, that's fortunate. Um, now, we have a picture. It's not out of uh, Duval County where you are. It's out of St. John's County, but it's a lifeguard there rescuing a deer out of the ocean. It just goes to show um, the the heart you all have for, for any kind of life that might be in trouble. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, sometimes on the beach, you know, we have not not necessarily the beach life that we have to rescue. You know, a couple years ago, we had a bear come on to Duval County beaches and Jacksonville Beach. And we're really here to help anyone and anything and any animal, you know, into safety. And I was, you know, really fortunate that lifeguards in St. John's County were there at the time that the deer got um, stuck in the conditions and they were able to deploy a guard and a paddleboard guard to just assist the deer back to shore just because it was so lost into where he was. Thanks, Max. We appreciate all your information you. today. Um, the rain has actually really picked up since we started this interview out here at the beach. Uh, we might need to get our gear and ourselves covered with uh, some protection. But uh, like we said, there is really high wind out here, so it's not advised that you swim in the ocean. Uh, the sand is also kicking up pretty high because of this wind. And uh, if you want to come out here and look, the beaches are open, but just it's really advised uh, from both the ocean rescue and um, other sources that you do not get in the water. For now, we're live at Jacksonville Beach. Kristen Cosby, Channel 4, the local station. So Melanie was making fun of me that they hadn't heard of the deer down in uh, Duval County, <laughs> but he had, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, word gets around, and uh, I do yeah. know they have a lot of deer in St. John's County. I happen to live out there, so I was pretty amused when I saw uh, that one of them made it into the ocean there. They get in my yard a lot there. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, ocean rescue folks talk. They know about the deer. Yeah, yeah. Now we learned there was a bear one year. So. <laughs> I know. Who would have thought that? <laughs> All right, Kristen. I'm glad the deer and the lifeguard, everyone is safe. Thank right. you so much.